Welcome back. Want to know more about the stories on tonight's show or are you just tuning in this evening and you want to see segments that you may have missed? Well, you can still see them and they are always available on Charter's Video On Demand. Simply punch in 999 on your remote and you'll find a variety of segments from the show. No waiting and it's at your convenience. We've been talking about taking charge of your exposure to the sun, being active in prevention and what to do if you detect a problem. Well, with us now is Mary Phillip, a skin cancer survivor here to tell us about her ordeal and with her Mike Bender from Reflections Med Spa to give us some information on the latest skincare products products that battle the sun's harmful rays. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Mary, let's start off with you because you certainly went through an ordeal that you never imagined. You had had some sunspots removed before, but you had never imagined that one would turn into such a problem. Actually, Heather, they were more like pimples, a okay. little pimple that wouldn't heal and it would open up again when I took a shower. And so I knew it was not a pimple. It was something more. And I'd always read that cancer looked like that when it wouldn't heal. So I did go to the dermatologist. The latest was this on my nose where I had another outbreak. I'd had some removed here before. I'd had some removed here. And the latest though was far worse than uh, I expected. And you had to go through a special procedure with the dermatologist that actually removed all of the cancerous skin. I did. There's a Mohs procedure now named after Dr. Mohs. They take layer by layer and test it on the spot and they find out if they get it all. And so they had to go down very deep to get the seed of the cancer from my left nostril area. And, and this essentially left you with a large portion of your nose removed, didn't yes, it? Yes, it did. And uh, they took all of the cartilage in this area. They saved the lining of my nose. They also saved the uh, rim. But uh, the next day after I had the Mohs, my doctor, skin doctor, um, recommended Dr. Simo, Frank Simo, the plastic surgeon, who then did reconstruction. his reconstruction surgery. And he did what was called a skin flap, where skin was taken from the center of my forehead at this area, flapped over, and then grafted onto my nose. And before he grafted that, he had to build up cartilage from my deviated septum and from the center of my nose. And it's amazing to think that that's something that came out of what many people would think of as a simple sunspot. You've had this done relatively recently. It's only been about two months. Did you ever imagine, Mary, that you'd have to go through something like that just from simple sun exposure? Uh, never. It was the worst experience in my life. And I hope I never have to go through it again because uh, you have to get it taken care of. There's no way around it. And as I said, it was a pimple type area uh, that actually was affected and was, you know, so deep in there, Dr. Simo said it had probably been growing eight to ten years. Well, it's a good thing that you paid attention to those signs, and we're sorry you had to go through that, but, you know, we're very glad that you had a positive result. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much for sharing that. Thank you. Well, you know, obviously, people that are watching don't want to have to go through what Mary went through, because that can be very traumatizing. She paid attention to the signs, but how do we prevent those th signs from occurring? How do we prevent that damage, Mike? Well, one of the biggest things is, and when you talk about prevention, mm -hmm. when you think of the sun exposure, most people think you go to the beach, you go to the pool, get out the sunscreen. Right. But most people don't think of sunscreen when they wake up in the morning as an everyday right. task, part point. of their morning routine. And there's products out there, as long as you have an SPF of 15 or more, according to the Skin Cancer Foundation website, you should have SPF on every day. Well, you know, when Mary and I first spoke, she said, I grew up on a farm. I was always outside helping my dad work outside. So for people who are outside in construction, gardening, farming, all of those activities, they need to think about this daily. Yes, and of all the skin cancer types, what's the common theme in every one of them is sun exposure, okay. exposure to the sun. Yeah. So avoiding the sun, knowing your skin type, and going to see your dermatologist every year to have your skin checked is ex extremely important for prevention. And now in addition to sunscreen, are there products available that can help reverse some of that damage? Well, there's also photo aging. Okay. Photo aging is also again result of sun exposure over time. And there's products that are out there. Um, Skin Medica has products out there that are physician only, medical spa only products that regenerate the skin. They're there. Normally you think of aging with the wrinkles, part of the natural and the tone of the skin changing. What happens is, is that you need a product to start using to help with that. 
moisturizers help with the wrinkles. What you need is, there's one product called TNS, which is made by Skin Medica. TNS is tissue nourishing system, and what that does, it regenerates the skin, and it also works for photo damaged skin. So that's a product that's available to help with the aging process and for the sun exposure. And so but those are is, products right, once you had damage. Once, okay. Well, and actually, even beforehand, it's okay. always good for the prevention. You want this before you get the damage, okay. and it's good to keep it up on a regular basis. And this is something that you can, you should obviously start now at any age, but even start very young. Start with children, teens. Yes, on sunscreens, you don't want to put it on babies or children under six months old. You want to keep them out of the sun. From six months and over, you want sunscreen every time you're out and exposed to the sun. You want clothing that gives you protection. When you go to the pool, go to the beach, you especially want to keep putting on on over and over to get that protection. And Mike, out of curiosity, we hear all the time about how damaging tanning beds are. Yes, you want to avoid mm -hmm. anything that can give you extended UVA and UVB rays to your body because that's giving you some concentrations of that sun exposure. And you know, the excellent information on preventing skin damage, we really appreciate that, Mike. And we're gonna be talking about a great offer that Reflections Med Spa is giving away in just a minute here to help get people you know, invigorated and taking care of their skin. But before we let you both go, Mary, I just wanna mention one last time, you mm -hmm. are a teacher. Yes. And I think you're doing a really interesting thing about sharing your story because we hear about prevention and many of us are starting to take it seriously, but you really want to give that message to your students. So you're writing your memoirs. I do. I I have uh, started my memoirs and I teach juniors and seniors in high school and they are, you know, indestructible. <laughs> yes. And so I thought this would be a good way and I've dedicated my memoir to them uh, to let them know and hopefully avoid what I had to go through because I didn't know in the 50s anything about skin right. cancer. Right. And so this has been an eye opener for me and so I hope to be an eye opener for them with my book. Well, we truly appreciate you sharing your story and hopefully with the combination of what you have went through and with the information that you've given us, Mike, people will really start to be proactive about taking care of their skin in the mm -hmm. sun. So thank you to both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, as I mentioned, Mike is here from Reflection.